Wait a minute, get it how you live it. Ten toes in when we standing on business. I'm like, big step off, underground mobiles. Top notch horse, get the most, not the little. Straight to the bar, but that they're your eyeballs. Pushing cut your baby. What's up, guys? About 25 to 30 hours later, the ATV box is complete. This is a fourth order band pass. That client had an old box, $900. And you had one before that one, $900. And it just so happened that's the exact quote that I quoted, $900. But the difference is, I don't want that to happen to my box. He instructed me on how much he is in water, not flooded, but in and around water. That's an issue for any type of wood. If it's not metal or plastic, you're going to have a high risk of having issues. So we took extra measures and that's why this box took so long to create. If and when, which I am already recreating one today, just like this one for a razor, but I charged him the exact amount. Before I knew how much work this is, it looks small, right? Like quick and easy, right? Just throw it all together, right? No, about 24 hours, 24, 25 hours of labor in this box. Why? Because the interior is fiberglass resined. I'm not talking about and walking away. I'm talking about pouring resin, essentially making it as water resistant as we can. That takes time. That takes a lot of time. You can't lay true layer of resin on every panel in one go round. You have to lay it, let it dry an hour or 30 minutes, an hour, whatever. And that's not even a full harden either. And you got to twist the box this way and then another hour. And then, you, you know, there's, there's so many complex curves in this box. Look guys, not only is it angled right here because we didn't want it to be straight, right? It's angled here and then goes straight right here. And then the port goes that way and then goes that way. And then you have this angle here. This is a level, probably a 10 of a, a 10 of 10. Okay, a nine out of a 10 on the scale of, um, of hardness uh, to create. First and foremost, you have to get the airspace right. You have to get the port diameter right. You have to get the port length right. You have to get the orientation that the port is to the speaker uh, correct. You have to get all that correct based off the speaker that you're using and the amount of power that you have. All of this stuff plays a part. And that is why when people build stuff out of their house and they've never built a box before, let me be clear, normally it's all wrong. The, the AD takeover game. Our techs are about to arrive right now, so I'm gonna end this right now. We, oh, so check this out. So, like I stated, whole thing is resin. That is resin right there. He still has to spray that with Rhino liner, but the entire portion of this is resin. The entire innards is resin. The entire exterior is resin and then rhino line. Also, if you notice, we use threaded inserts, not just screws. Now, there's nothing wrong with using screws. It's just this way is better, okay? Right? I'm trying to pop this panel in so y'all can look at it. It's tight, but you know what? That's how we like it. That's how we like it. We like it and tight it be. So at the very, very end, we threw in a little logo, just says Turbo R. Um, kind of just threw that in 
for the client for no charge because this box was taking longer than expected. Taking longer than expected because it was a crap ton of work. But we're going to end this right now, guys. This is Mark Wired Customs Motorsport 682-500-0209 ATV box. Uh, we can get these to you if you're from, um, if you're in another state, these can be relatively gotten to you uh, probably for less than $100 in freight, I'm going to suspect. Um, but we can get a quote for you on that. So you'd probably be in it around $1,100 maybe uh, for an enclosure that's an investment that you should only have to buy once. Maybe had to buy one in four or five more years. Uh, I would suspect it should last uh, if the client is being responsible and not flooding his machine easily four to five years. If it's an enclosure in a car, it should last forever. Um, but, you know, I'm being realistic here. Four to five years is good. This one here lasted, you know, a couple runs. But again, that's not their fault. That's not their fault i'm not blaming that place um they weren't aware of how much water this guy goes into they would just say that you know water so we took the extra measures because he's gone through two boxes already and spent eighteen hundred dollars like i stated already on two boxes so we didn't want to be the last one on his list we wanted to come through and uh make this correctly for him that is kellen here he built the majority of this enclosure and of course he does all the designs here for the most part i might have done one i don't remember uh recently since he's been here but that's about it he does all the designs here i give him all the credit and all the bad credit he gets everything oh, yeah. yes <laughs> crazy mark today by the way <laughs> you got it okay uh wired custom 682-500-0209 find us on instagram tiktok youtube and on facebook